Fire in the hole! I hit it. Oh, it went through the target. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, folks! Shoo! Happy Thanksgiving, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, it finally is the time, folks, to get to harvesting some of these pesky little turkeys. Although we are going to be harvesting some turkeys, uh, Millie and Lucy took it upon themselves to harvest some turkeys, and uh, they ate Pedro. Yeah, he's gone. Um, Pedro is no longer with us. Yeah, mo Sad. can we get a moment of, moment of silence? Remove the cap for respect. Okay, so we were gonna eat one of his girlfriends instead. Yeah, we literally came outside. He had flown over the fence over there and they were eating him uh, and he was dead. Big boy, Ralph, you were supposed to protect Pedro. What are you doing? <laughs> He's like, I don't know, I, don't, I tried, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Pedro's dead. We were just about to catch. Although Pedro is KO'd, we are going to KO one of his girlfriends, which should taste equally as delicious. We're gonna be going after a bunch of wild game. We're gonna go try to harvest a deer today. We're gonna try to harvest some ducks tomorrow. We're gonna attempt to trap a raccoon overnight. I'm not sure if it'll work or not. Um, and then we also have some quail in here that need to get taken care of. So this is gonna be the ultimate wild game Thanksgiving feast. And it's gonna be a long episode, so buckle ups and stay tuned. But if you guys are wanting to get some ducks here, listen here carefully. This is the time that you're gonna wanna get it because we are running 40% off sale. Starting today on Thursday, all hats and t-shirts are 40% off. On Black Friday, all hoodies are 40% off. That's right, four. Oh, 40% off. Saturday, you've got all the hunting gear and the dog products. So if you got a little pupper who maybe likes to eat pet turkeys, uh, that will be 40% off as well. And then on Sunday, all of the cold gear will be on sale. That's all the coats and all the super warm stuff. As we're getting into winter here, it's about to get frigid outside and Ducks has some amazing products. Even if you don't like the duck hunt and you just wanna look good and stay warm, all the cold gear will be 40% off on Sunday. So we have sales going on every single day, 40% off, which will be linked down in the description down below at Ducks Waterfowl. Dot com. You guys got to go check it out. I'm telling you, we're not going to have a sale this big ever again. So we're going to get to catch clean cooking. Sun's starting to go down a little bit. We still have maybe two, three hours before it actually is past shooting light. So we're going to try to harvest a turkey and harvest some quail, get them all cleaned up and ready to rock and roll. And then you and I are going deer hunting. We are. We're going deer hunting. And Banjo, he's going duck hunting in the morning. Yeah. We have to divide and conquer. In order to get this video done on Thanksgiving, which is when you guys are watching it, uh, did you hear the rooster? Yeah, that was like way back there, wasn't We're, it? Well, he was just behind the building. Was he behind? Dude, Brooklyn's rooster. He just, he just went hard. He sounded really good. <laughs> Let's go! Really? We finally have a rooster wow. that cr- right Dude, oh, He's hey, say it again. Say, okay, so anyways, we are gonna divide and conquer, and our goal is to acquire as much wild game as physically possible so we can go and clean it and cook it tomorrow. That's the plan. You guys stay tuned. All right, we gotta catch this turkey. Here he is, there he is, there he is. There he is. <laughs> Hit him down! Hit him down! Hit him down! Hit, hit. Ralph! Oh, no. Ralph! Ralph! No high sticking, Ralph. You lose him? Where do you get him? Lock him down. Get him down. Get him down. Look out. Ralph. Ralph got excited and started high sticking. That was almost a bad deal. This would have been your boyfriend Pedro, but he decided to you go outside the fence just like you did. Now you die. Now you learn your lesson. Say goodbye, Ralph. Maybe you think they're friends? No. No chance. Ralph, Ralph's thinking it's a good deal. No. Oh god, oh god. He's taking that hat. That's some fire. See? Oh, he, oh, oh, he just splooshed all over the merch. No. Let's go, Ralphie. <laughs> Ralphie, look at the merch. Why have we never done this? That's before? hilarious. Ralph, look at the sick he merch. He not know what to do. Ralphie, <laughs> wait, why have we never done that? It looks so good on him, too. Come here, buddy. Do you think he's more of a backwards hat guy, or? He's definitely like, yeah, he's like a, he's, like a, he's, he's a Chad. He wants it facing backwards. There it is. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Rafi! I don't know how we never thought to do <laughs> this looks before. so good on him. Why did we never do this? This is great. I say we just leave it up there. He'll have it. Uh, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, then you're not going to see us, obviously. Catch and cook this guy. Well, you see him cook it, but not catch and clean. Well, he's all catch. You're not just going to see the cleaning. If you want to see the cleaning, though, Uncut Outdoors is where we post all the uncut stuff, all the cleaning, all the gutting, all the behind the scenes stuff. That is where you can find all that. So you'll see that. So if you want to watch like the uncensored version of this video, just click the link down in the description and go to Uncut. And we're actually giving away a Ford F-250, by the way, if you subscribe. Every month you subscribe is an entry. Um, and we're giving it away at the end of this year. So you might win yourself an F-250 and be able to see this guy get plucked. You guys already know the drill. Blinded by the light. Oh, we're gonna scold him. Yeah. 
Probably about one of them. A little more of them. Better hurry. <laughs> oh, you got a leaky bucket. <laughs> you got a leaky bucket. Why have we got a leaky idiot. bucket? Go fill this up. So now what we're doing, we're probably back on YouTube at this point. Just don't look over my shoulder. Uh, that's a dead turkey over there. What we're doing is we're getting ready to scold him. Oh, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, that's, that's good. That's going to take a long time to get to scolding temp. Uh, so let's go kill some quail. Shoo! All right, quail time, boys. While the, uh, the water's getting heat up for the, the old uh, scolding, we these guys, it's time for you to go, Jimmy. We got quite a few of them, actually. It might take us a second to catch them all. Uh, but these are Caternix. They stopped laying eggs about a month and a half ago. I don't really know why. But it's not something that this pen is not designed to take care of them through the winter. We really just had them for the egg production. Um, we had the eggs throughout the summer. They stopped laying. If you stop producing on the farm, you get... Oh yeah. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to look at all these. We're going to try to get them all wrangled up and we're going to be making some quail pot pie. It's a Thanksgiving staple. It's a no one ever, but we're going to make it a Thanksgiving staple today. So anyways, we're going to get these all uh, wrangled up, cleaned up, and uh, that's going to be one, another dish. So we're going to have a ton of dishes, deer, duck, quail, turkey, you name it. We're going to have it for this Thanksgiving wild game feast. So let's get to uh, wrangling. Shoo! Look at these bad boys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We had quite a few. Not still a damn left. Egg. Not a damn egg. They stopped laying them. So, Amanda's already getting started. Same thing as ducks, rip you guys it. already know. Rip super it. Super thin. Rip it, and we're going to actually just breast them out. You can just rip out it with the uh, the ribs in it and stuff like that, but we are going to take the meat, we're going to cook it, and then we're going to shred it, um, or chunk it for that matter. I think shred's probably your safer bet. It'll be a little bit more tender that way, and we'll make a pot pie. So, anyways, we got him KO'd, ripped the heads off. We're going to go ahead and get them cleaned up, and then hopefully go scold our turkey. <laughs> scolding so we don't want to cook him but this is going to loosen up his what is it about 90 seconds to do it for yes yeah, splash them i've never had good luck with pet turkeys meaning like tasting great yeah, yeah. they're just always a little tough because i think they're on their feet more than the walmart ones just keep it going you, you can go as long as you want you just don't want to cook it so yeah. as long i don't need it. it ain't cooking it that ain't that hot so, a little moldy. He, oh, he might be a little moldy. Yeah, we had one of those ones. Yeah, it was all green. That was a, probably the last Thanksgiving one we did. Probably. All right, I think we can make her happen. What do you think? think? Yeah. Go ahead and turn that off. All right, out of the scolder. Look out! Huh? You're oh. Whatever. Well, there's blood. <laughs> that was just water. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I didn't see it bleeding blood. still. Now we block. I'm just. Yeah, that water was not hot enough. I can tell you that much. I mean, it's going it's just slowly but surely. Pull them all out, and then we'll open them up, take the guts out, save the neck for banjo. He likes that. Yeah, that's gross. And we should be good to go. boys we're out here duck hunting trying to get a duck for thanksgiving or goose i won't be picky but i want a nice malardo pluck it out full malardo in the oven that'd be great we got casey here we got four hunters in the blind we got two ice eaters on it feels like eight degrees it's really cold but we got a nice hole open so we'll see what comes in
right here, right in front. Man, I got him down barely. Fetch. Dead bird. There you go. Good girl. Bring it here. All the way here. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl. All right, well, we only ended with two green wing teal. Didn't shoot the best. Didn't see a whole lot of ducks, but hey, this is gonna be lunch. Thanksgiving lunch, part of it. Meanwhile, shoo! All right, it is time to get a deer harvested for Thanksgiving dinner. I'm gonna be using a bow. Jake is gonna be using a rifle, and we're gonna see what we can take home. Bucks and does are on the menu. There are several bucks out here that we're after, but at the end of the day, if it's brown, it's down. So. I've got the bow here, brand spanking new bow, and I haven't made a harvest with it yet. And you've got Mr. 65. I say I, I brought a couple. You got me a few? Just a couple backups. Hopefully I don't need a couple. <laughs> we just one. All we need is hopefully one. So we are gonna get some really warm Bucks gear on. We've got some bibs and coats. It's actually really, really cold. Like I said, I'm gonna take the bow out. I gotta shoot it a few times just to make sure I'm on. And he's got the old 6.5. Just in case we don't get anything super close range. I'm gonna put a two hour time limit on me with the bow. And if I can't get it done in two hours, which is gonna be about, you know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes before our shooting light ends, it gets kind of dark anyways to shoot a bow. Then, J <coughs> then Jake has a 6.5 to make it happen. We are harvesting a deer for Thanksgiving. You guys stay tuned. All right, boys, we just made it out. You got the old 6.5? I've got the bow. The meat wagon is parked ready to get deployed to pick up the harvest. Do you want to go through the sneaky spot or the open spot? We better go through the woods. Through the sneaky spot? Yeah. Just to be extra safe. We're not sure if anything's going to be out and about quite yet. I checked the cameras earlier today and there wasn't a whole lot moving. But we're going to sneak through the woods here. We're going to climb up in the tree. Well, not the tree. The, uh, the blind, not in the tree. Climb up in the, uh, I'm used to saying tree, holding the bow. Climb up in the blind. Like I said, we'll see what happens. I'd like to go with the bow, but if they don't come within 40 yards is kind of where I feel comfy. If they're more than 40 out, Jake's gonna step up with the 6.5. If we get lucky and we can get one of these big dogs coming in really close, then, uh, then I might let one rip with the bow. Either way, all I know, we will be leaving the woods with the deer so we can cook it up for our Thanksgiving. All right, boys, I made it. There's one doe. She's right, you can't see all the wee issues about a hundred yards in front of us. She didn't suspect anything. So one nice thing about these weeds in the field, they can't see us. Next year, we'll have to plant some type of screening. So the beans are <clears throat> a little bit more accessible uh, shooting and filming wise, but uh, they can't see us. So my plan is the only way I'm gonna be able to shoot one with a bow is out this window. They're gonna walk this trail and that trail is at 20 yards. So I, there's not really, I could also shoot them around the corner, which once they're in the clear, 35. So pretty much the only way I'm gonna be able to shoot a bow today is if they round this bend and go in front of us. Once they're out that window, they're pushing 40, 45 on that clearing. So that's why I'm gonna position myself here. I'm also left-handed, so I should be able to kind of lean forward and shoot. You're gonna be out the main window, the main yep. window here, basically shooting down that way. Like I said, we'll give, we'll give myself an hour or two um, I mean, I do really want to shoot the bow, but at the end of the day, we have to make sure we go home with something. So I don't want to like mess around too much. And if we get a doe coming in and she starts eyeing us, she gets the six five treatment because we can't ri we can't risk her blowing and then you know to potentially ruining the spot. So yeah, that's kind of the plan. Like I said, if we get one in within thirty five to forty, I can shoot out this window. If it's looking like the you know the sun's starting to kind of go down, or if a big buck walks out far away, then Jay can let one fly too. So either way, like I said, we're going home with venison, no matter what, whether it's a bow or 6.5, we eating good, stay tuned.
She's down. She's down. She's down. Yes, dude. Yes. <laughs> we missed that one. That's perfect. Yes. 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 Nice. She's down. She's down. There goes mama and baby. Yep. We shot the one that yep. wasn't the mama. Let's go. Let's go. Just let's freaking go. Smoke. Yes. Yes. All six, five. Yes. Nine. Yes. We got Thanksgiving All right, well... We made an audible game time decision, so I know we said I'd give myself two hours. We gave us about an hour. The sun is still up. But we saw, dude, these hoss of a doe come in. Two of them. And then there was a youngin. And I'm like, I, that's either grandma, mama, baby, or it's a solo, you know, big doe, mature doe, who didn't have an offspring, and then another mom and a baby. And I was like, all right, well, if it's either grandma, which... It doesn't matter if it's either grandma or the doe that couldn't have uh, a baby or didn't have a baby this year. Either way, that would be the one to take. She's huge, big, mature doe. And uh, we thought we weren't going to get it because we, we always all three of them come in. And I was like, man, if you're going to pluck a mature doe, you should do the one that doesn't have the fawn with it. That way you can leave them paired up and, uh, and they'll be good to go. Even though right now, like, fawns will still survive. It's not like they're not going to make it. But I always feel bad if I end up, you know, trying to shoot one that's got a, a, a youngin with it. And uh, then all of a sudden, grandma or, or the solo doe, for that matter, disappeared. Had no idea where she went. We only saw the mom and the baby. And we're like, now nah, we can't shoot the mom and the baby. And then we had another mom and the baby come from there. So we had a mom and a baby, a mom and a baby, and then one solo mondo doe. And what we didn't realize was she was behind this really thick patch this whole time. We're like, man, where'd she go? She was just in here. All of a sudden she walked out and I was like, dude, we should take her out. That's the right one in my opinion to take out. She's big, she's mature, she's gonna have a bunch of meat on it and she didn't have a youngin with her. If you're gonna take out a doe, that's just my opinion. I think that's the best bet. So um, yeah, I'm unfortunately, I'm a little disappointed. I didn't get to shoot him with a bow, but we are going home with some Thanksgiving deer. So we're gonna climb out. That was a, one of my shorter hunts I've ever had. And uh, I'll grab the golf cart and get her loaded up, get her cleaned up. If we get her skinned up, cleaned up, gutted, all that good stuff. And uh, then hopefully Banjo can shoot a duck and we'll just keep chipping away, getting this wild game feast prepared for Thanksgiving. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, boys. Well, she made it further than I thought, but she went down, so not a whole lot of tracking needed. We got everything loaded up in the old meat wagon, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing, loading that meat up in the wagon. You around here somewhere, girly. There she is. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. Big old mama, dude. That's a tank, dude. Oh my perfect shot, dude. Double lunged right there. Look at that. Oh god, yeah. That's the old double lung, son. She's toast. Wow. Right. That's a big doe. That's a hoss, dude. That's a thick doe. That's a hoss. Big old mama, dude. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. She gonna eat good. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get her in the wheat the meat wagon here. Dude, that's that that's gotta be grandma, dude. She got a long snout. Big old face. She's I mean that's a big old mature doe. Oh, I'm so excited. We're gonna make a delicious roast out of this thing. It's gonna be so good harvesting the meat, boys. All right, we're gonna load her up and I'll go her skinned up and cleaned up. If you guys wanna see us gutter, cleaner, and skinner, it's available on Uncut Outdoors. We're actually giving away an F-250 right now, a tremor, and it ends at the end of this year. So if you sign up, every month that you're signed up gets you an entry. So if you sign up right now, you will be entered to win an F-250 tremor and we're gonna announce it at the end of this year. All you gotta do is go sign up and you get to see us gut and clean her and a bunch of other videos for myself and other outdoor creators. All right, well, we'll see you guys back at the house. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, we are at Walmart, folks. It is time to get all the ingredients we need for this massive wild game Thanksgiving episode. We've got deer, we've got quail, we've got turkey, we've got all sorts of other deer. Would I say deer? Deer, turkey, quail, you got it. A bunch of other stuff that we are gonna be harvesting for today's video. We gotta get all the ingredients for it. And we're gonna be pairing a bunch of different dishes for today's adventure. So, I'm not gonna bore you by walking around the island bag. Should we get this one or this one? You guys just enjoy the time lapse. Shoot, 
go, Huggy. Look who we got. What? Banjo, thank you for the duck. Yeah. That's Banjo. That's gonna taste good. His meal is the duck. He got a teal, as you guys saw. And we didn't show you guys the marinating brine uh, that we did uh, last night. It was super late. And I was like, let's just get it knocked out. But we've got chicken stock and chicken broth, some oranges and some garlic in there as well with a little bit of seasoning. So this turkey has been brining uh, overnight. And then these were the, the quail. So we threw it in the same kind of brine. And then that is the deer, which what is going to be a roast. What kind of meat is it? Uh, what, what's it from? Yeah. It's the roast of some it's sort. sirloin. Uh, like they're kind of like they're quad is. Yeah. So that's from your your deer. Yep. Um, and that didn't have any marinating. Uh, and then your duck we threw. We, we went with a little orange theme yeah. on it because I feel like orange duck's always yeah. good. So we got everything kind of brined and marinated, so to speak. And we're all going to have different meals to cook. We've got, this is yours. You harvested the deer. You harvested the duck. And we've got the turkey and the quail. I'm going to handle the quail. Papa Beefcake is here. He's going to handle frying the turkey. He's the turkey frying expert. So this is going to be his meal of the day. These guys right here, we're going to be making quail pot pie. I love pot pie. We made rabbit pot pie last year. You guys are OG viewers. And so we're going to be making that. So we each have our own dish to provide for Thanksgiving. Boom, right there. Yeah. That's the old pie crust. Yes, I did not uh, make my own dough because that's way too much work. But that way we each have our own uh, dish that we, that's kind of what Thanksgiving is about, right? Everybody brings their own dish. Ours just happens to be only wild game. Uh, and so that's the plan. I think first thing we're going to start with is we're going to get the turkey going. Um, Pop Beefcake, he said that you want to cook it and then you want to let it rest for like 30 minutes to an hour. He said it's mm. super important. The juices will stay in it. Oh. So we might be looking at an hour and a half on the turkey versus I think your deer roast, my guess, and I don't know. In the Instant Pot, my guess is 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah, not, That's not my guess. Your is, what are you thinking? Do you want to grill it or? Yeah, I think you could Traeger it. What do, you, what do you think? Yeah, you, is that, that. you want some nice grill? Yeah, might want to roll yeah. it around in like a cast iron really hot. Get in, yeah, and, crisp, in, and, and sear, sear it. it. Smoke yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that might that might I, take another hour or so. And then I think in order to put this this deal together with all this is probably another hour. So we're looking at probably the next two hours of cooking to get all of this ready. And then of course, you know, we couldn't leave out our boy, Bob. Bob oh, always <laughs> makes it to the family functions. He's basically a long lost cousin. He's always gotta be there. So we got Bobby, but we didn't go crazy on the sides. I know in my opinion, Thanksgiving's all about the sides, the stuffing, but we've got so much protein here, but we ain't got, we ain't got room for that. We do have Hawaiian rolls though, Banjo. That's a, that I feel like that's a staple. Yeah, I set them over there. That's a staple for that's, Thanksgiving. That's probably the best. Thing. It's probably the best side right. dish, to be honest with you. So we do we do have that. And uh, Macy said we have stuff to make gravy for the mashed potatoes. So mashed potatoes, gravy, Hawaiian rolls, and just a ton of wild game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you, if you guys do that, invite me to your Thanksgiving. I'll be there. Okay. So we got to inject this guy. That's next. We got our buddy Tony. Big Dad and Tony. So Bobby Tony and, and Bob. Bo Bob and Tony, those, those guys save Thanksgiving for families. Uh, they make everything taste good. Your your Aunt Becky, she can't cook, but if she uses Bobby and, and Tony, that stuff tastes all right. Yeah, so yeah. go ahead and take it out of the brine. We're going to inject it, and then I think we got to dry it off a little bit. Ooh, but it does smell good. Dude, get it, get it in there, son. That's, mm. you got a lot. Citrus. There's a lot dangling garlic. in there. Right. Smell, do you smell this, though? Oh, yeah. That Ooh, smells good. Tony got to Big out. Tony's yeah. got something going. All right, so we're going to grab our bird here. Um, and don't um, don't get, be too um, uh, judgmental about the skin on this because uh, I didn't do a great job of cleaning it. We did our best. Yeah. There's definitely some skin. Like you go to Walmart, your deer, or your uh, turkey's gonna look probably a little better than this bad boy. But we see, need to weigh him. At some point, yeah, we definitely should weigh. Bag out of here for it. You wanna try grabbing that? Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. See, uh, see, there's just the skin's just a little. It you just gotta. Just gotta stretch it out a little bit. So we are gonna inject it um, with this is some garlic herb. So we've got garlic, brine, and injection. Let's go ahead and just shove it on in there and fill that yeah. bad. You see all yeah. that? Oh yeah. There oh, it is. Yeah. Oh! One in each breast. Will it go in the meat? You think, or does yeah, it need to be just under the skin? I think try it in the meat. meat. All right. Let's see where it goes. Oh yeah. Oh, she she absorbed it nicely. That's good. Cool. You guys chirped us about not brining the turkey last time we did the turkey legs, and that's why it was tough. So we did an overnight brine. Some people say you can do it for like four days. Uh, we obviously don't have time for that. I'll shove that guy in there. Oh yeah, there it is. I feel like a doctor. Really? Bend, bend over. Really? There it is. There you go. Perfect. She has been injected. So let's go take her over to the fryer. I think we have to. Your dual dangle stick. What happened? Oh, we had, we could no one makes well we couldn't find uh, 
Spot Beefcake made a hanger out of uh, washers, oh, so some some wire. So we'll, we'll feed turkey. it through there so we can drop the turkey mm-hmm. in, try to keep it off the bottom. You just don't yeah. want it to burn. Yeah. So yeah, we, we couldn't find uh, any actual hanger, so we're going to make them. So, all right, let's head over to the fry. I'm guessing 11.5. 13? What's your guess, Manjo? I'll go 12 and a half. Mm, 12.2. Ooh. So I went low. 12.2. 12 2. Is Let's that what go. you guessed? Yeah. Let's go. Hey, you're close. 12, so we need to do 12 times 3, Banjo. 36? 36. 30, 36 to 40 minutes. At 375? Is what they is that what they normally fry turkeys at, I'm guessing? Oh, we do have one. All right, I got it. 2013. How good do you think this one is? <laughs> I give it a little bit more oil just to make sure she settles down a little bit. 12 pounder. All right, I think we're. I think we'll be all right. All right, she's gonna cook for 35, 40 minutes. Let's go start on the other dishes. All right, we got the turkey going. It is now time for your deer and your recipe. Yeah. So you guys are gonna both gonna. And then this is uh, It'll that look. we'll do that here in a second. But that's It'll the that's the quail. Soon. That's yeah. a quite the harvest of quail. So. All right, walk walk us through. We got Instapot, best yeah. invention on the planet. Yeah, Instapot is amazing. It's a game changer. So we've got the roast. Yep. Uh, we've got onion, garlic, carrots, celery. Some also, mushrooms. Also known as the Trinity. This is the Trinity right here. Cajun. The, what's the Trinity? It's the Trinity. It's three. Well, the Trinity. You start every soup with base. And yeah. Celery. You guys onions, know about carrots. the Trinity? I've never heard. I know, of that. I know oh, about a different Trinity, but yeah, 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 no, it's a Trinity is, or, or mirepoix if you were fancy. Yeah. But it's onion, <laughs> onion, celery, and carrots. Like that's the base. Listen, gotcha. it sounds good. Okay. To me. Sounds good to me. Okay. And then All right. uh, I've got a little. Um, Rosemary oh thyme. <laughs> what do you got oh, in there? It's in the bag. Little it's in the little bag. It doesn't look suspicious at all. No, that, yeah. <laughs> Don't get pulled over with that. Lipton, well, it's not Lipton's. It's a off-brand onion soup mix. Oh, so see, yeah. I've never used that before. So that gives it, I mean, that's kind of your beefy Yeah, yeah beefy and there's flavor. some beef broth. Yeah, and there's some beef broth. Okay, all right. All right. What's first? Go, yeah, go so, ahead. So we'll cook it for a while, and then we'll add our carrots, and uh, well, we'll add carrots and potatoes towards the end, so that otherwise they'll get, they'll get Mashed, so yeah. it's a it's a yeah. step process. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So step one is step one. Crackpot going. What do you got in there already? I got a little beef base. I was like, <laughs> well, I didn't know we had anything Dude, in there. I thought that had right? been in there for like Listen, months. You yeah. can either pay for beef broth, okay, or you can put a little beef base and water in there, and you accomplish the same thing. Okay. 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 So that's so how long this is already guess, that check. We don't need like that. It's like his master stock. <laughs> can't it, right? I can't I can't bring myself to pay for <laughs> liquid on a shelf when you can just just make it. Okay. Yeah. It. So All right. So it's, so that's basically beef broth. Beef, beef, okay. Yeah, it's it's beef in broth. there. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna take. We'll just put our roast in there. Yep. Nothing fancy. We're gonna set it down in there in a nice little nest. We'll we'll throw some onions on here. Probably need about half of this. So I'll throw it aside for now. So we're gonna put the Lipton onion soup right on top of it. Oh. Okay. So it kind of it kind of covers it, and then as it cooks, it'll. Mm. Yeah, that's a new one. I that smells I, I, good. I, I, I ain't done that, that before. That's good. And then I like, if you can, keep some onion. Even though this is onion, onion, I like to put the, uh, some onions on top of it. Big onion, guys. Big onion, onion guys. Right here. Garlic, we're going to take this trick. Oh, smash yeah. it down. There it is. Okay, so we have a little garlic action. Throw that in there. And celery yeah, at the same celery. time. I'll wash it. Just for the fun of it. Yeah, it's Walmart. You don't know that's yeah, been. True, true. I mean. So I usually just for this kind of stuff, I usually just chunk it and leave it like that. Otherwise, unless you're putting it in gravy or something, it does the same thing. And I'll throw. I'm gonna throw one carrot in early, so just for fl- kind of for flavor. And then we'll save these for to actually um, eat, eat with, mushy. Yeah, with the potatoes. This will just give us some flavor. Rosemary and thyme. So. All right. That's mushrooms it, later. Oh, mushrooms later. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 don't forget the nectar. Hang, hang on. on. Yeah. There. Yeah. There. 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 That's what we needed. That's all. All right. That's Been it. On? How long you would do that for? Uh, I'd say. I'd say let's do 
15 minutes and test it and check it. Okay. Okay. So you can do the meat. Meat stew. Yeah. Fifteen. All right. Well, I'm just gonna get started and uh, take it out, check it, and then add the other ingredients, and we will have a deer roast for Thanksgiving. Stay tuned. All right. With that out of the way, we are gonna get started on some quail pot pie. We're gonna start off with seasoning the quail with ducks all meat and throwing it in the oven at 375 for maybe 15, 20 minutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to cook it, and then we're gonna shred it. And I'll show you guys a trick on how to shred it quickly. And uh, then we'll put it all together. We've got some frozen peas, some corn. Uh, we're actually gonna use some cream of mushroom soup uh, as well, and we're gonna make a delicious pot pie. So that's in the oven. The deer roast is in. Your duck is next, Banjo. I got a timer on for that guy. You got a timer yeah, for him? 15 minutes, I put it on. Okay, well, you ready to get your duck fired yeah. up? Yeah. Okay, stay tuned. Shoo! All right, before Banjo gets going on his duck, we've got the turkey that is ready to get pulled out of the fryer. Hey, come here, Lucy. How about we get the dog? Nah, that, 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 that. We don't need you either. Millie, 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 Millie. out. Ooh, smells good. Yeah, tasty. Mmm, smells really good. All right, so I think she's up she's to about, temp, ready to go. Up. All right, coming in. Oh yeah, oh, boy. look at that. Sheesh. Dang. It's one cooked turkey there. Yeah. Looks good. Skin looks nice too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna let, let it rest for let it rest a long time. Oven. Let her rest in the oven for 15 minutes, just on low, just to just to, just to chill out. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's take her back over. We're gonna let it rest. My quail uh, are done. We are gonna shred those. We're cooking so many things at once. It's kind of how Thanksgiving always is. So turkey's done, but we really want to let that thing like rest completely, cool down, helps keep the juices in. We just took out my quail brass, and now we're gonna put banjos duck in the oven we got to stuff it stuff the duck put it in the oven and then he's gonna make like a little orange sauce as well with it which should be fantastic and then once my quail is shredded I'll start assembling the pot pie and about that time the deer roast should be done big orange guy huh yeah duck and orange goes goes well together. so get a, get a slice wow <laughs> no, no 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 look at that you look, you take up the whole thing. <laughs> he's <laughs> a big, I, he is a big orange guy we, get some more we gotta get some up. onions in yeah, there we'll some garlic up, yeah. so uh turkey's in the oven and we decided Ooh, instead gosh. of just getting taking the duck and putting it in the oven we're gonna try to render that fat down i mean you ever seen a tail this fat that yeah, is that impressive is thick impressive so we were kind of reading online some different options a lot of them were saying put it in like a cold cast iron and let that basically warm up and it'll render that fat down and actually they use that fat in your sauce so if it's got enough fat on it we could try doing that too okay so okay shove Put an onion in there, in there and an orange you gotta give her the mat there it is don't up. cut yourself now look out all right good sure oh yeah like that uh, either, they're, they're both pretty fat just yeah center, that's fine we'll give you that sit, yeah left like that you can roll them over to the right yeah too. Yeah. okay so it's gonna, it might take a second, but yeah. we're, we, it's, yeah, trust the process. Yeah, yeah. Let the fat do the, do its thing. So we're gonna let this go. Your oven is ready when we do need to finish it in the oven. The deer, we cranked it up from like initially 12 minutes. We were kind of reading online. A lot of them were saying like almost an hour. So we're, we went for like a 35 because we still have to add the potatoes, still have to add the carrots. Um, so we got 13 minutes left on that. Turkey is resting. And, oh, we gotta go shred quail. Yeah. I almost forgot. Oh yeah, we ain't baking cookies either, boys. This is, Life hack. This is like one of them TikTok deals. So this will change your life. Big you ever done this? Nope. Yeah. Oh, so no, you're, you're about to. You're about to I'm learn. You're about to learn stuff. today. So instead of, you know, trying to get it all shredded, what you do is just take it and put it in the kitchen. Now, there's no promises on this because this is quail. We've done pheasant and chicken. I assume it's going to be have a similar effect. Oh, um, but we just, just threw some all meat on it. Man, look at the juices. That I know it. Has. It had. There was a lot going on. I mean, well, that was the brine. That's probably where all that came from. Yeah. It was soaking all that up all night long. This should be some of the most flavorful quail ever. Take this bad boy, shove it down, lock. Watch the magic happen. So it's a slow deal. Like, you can't rush it, otherwise quail just starts flying. It's looking a little bit thicker than pheasant. I was a little nervous. It's definitely more dense than, than chicken. Come on, buddy. You can do it. All right, we're gonna give her a look here. Nice. So is this stuff just, yeah. just tough? I mean, it's pretty good. 
I think it's just a little tougher than chicken. Oh yeah. yeah it's, I mean it's it's, it's not bad. I mean I that's what that's what you're after right yeah, there. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna give it another rip here. Alright. Chop any remaining big pieces. Yeah, that's not bad. This isn't bad. I mean that's that's what you're after. Quail has been shredded. Roast is uh, not done done, but getting done. That, ooh, that smells good. So we're gonna open this. Bands with the snap crackle and popping over here. You can see it's starting to it's starting to get situated. Now I got to uh, start cutting up some onions here for our pot pie. We're gonna go ahead and just, we're gonna slice and dice some some onions here. Mm. Yeah, we're good. What do we have? 138. Second. 140. That's good. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta throw everything else in now. Uh -huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that'll be really good. You tell me, your mushroom boy. This is two handfuls. You sicko. This guy hates mushrooms. I know. Dude, like, they... do you hate mushrooms like no. your son? I love them. Absolutely. It tastes <laughs> like grass. That's a bocce chef. Who let this guy cook? Like this? <laughs> good night. Do you think it's ready to go in the oven? I or would what? say so. so. There it is. You do it like this? Just yeah. Like this. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Good. I guess we could have probed it first, but you know, we should probably check it. I don't know. It's like 90. Yeah, you got, yeah, yeah, you got a ways. You got a ways. All right, we're going to finish her in the oven. I yeah, okay. It's all right. We're getting distracted here. I'm, I'm trying to chop some onions here. What do you think? Oh, I think that's gonna work. Oh God, maybe we're, not. We're just getting Definitely. it. We're getting it everywhere. I mean, it's doing Man, something. It's all right. You could just throw some Minute Maid in there too. Oh, that, that works fine. There it is. Oh no, that, you got a little, a little bit in there. In the old veggies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh god, that was, in the eye. That was bad, dude. This thing is just out of hand. I'm not Who's wild. This Chris? is wild. Oh, that was way easier. Look at this. It's just dumping. I didn't know you had the grip. Wow. All right, so take some corn and some peas. All right. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, and then we got our meat. What's Banjo got going on? <laughs> He's just underneath this thing, juice and oranges. Why is there a shelf right yeah, here? You know, we, we have lots of things to store, okay? Your cream. Cre cream of mushroom. Just mix it all up. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, she's definitely done. No, she's fine. That, just, that sounds like something's happening. Oh, that was fire. Sounds like goodness. Okay, hang on. Look out. Look out. My God! There it is. I, I, I got a 130 read. Try one more. 135. See, that's, that's perfect. perfect. Right. Let it, let it sit there. You gotta take her off there. And we, so you need to get your sauce figured out. Just go ahead and pour it in here. Yep. Don't pour the dot. Don't pour the dot. I ain't pouring the dot. Go ahead. Think that's good? Just keep it on. There it is. Yeah. All right. What is that? That's the old. Uh, it's always ready to go. You don't have to wait for it to. What um, do you mean it's always ready to go? Give a second. Give a second. Ain't doing nothing. Give a second. Give it. There it is. Today. You today. got it. No, is this molasses? No, no, no. Today. It's, no, and it's gone. There it is. Man just got some duck fat, oranges, some honey, and he's gonna throw some orange juice in there. Oh yeah, we can throw some rosemary in there. I think they have garlic too, right? Mm -hmm. Don't forget the all meat, boys. Let's call this all Thanksgiving. So we put it on everything. <laughs> all Thanksgiving. It's been on everything so far. How's that sauce? Oh, I'm not even on it. Like, oh. This guy. He's been cooking it, cooking in the cold. Yeah, I'll just get it all in there. How's that microwave? <laughs> you know what I can't wait for? It? When we have an actual kitchen in the new house, it's gonna be great. Right I don't even know what that was. All right, quail pot pie. Ooh, we might have been about right on the filling. It was a big rough guess. Dang. Pretty close. Oh yeah. That was about perfect. That how did we do that? That was just that's crazy. Eye bone. You just got it, just a knack for pot pies, don't you? Sure. Okay, done. And now we got the top. Yep. Just throw it on it. Yep. Okay. 
Dang. Just like this? Mm-hmm. You can go around you got a knife and cut off that excess. Alright. Alright. Ventilation. Isn't that how the professionals do it, Banjo? You ever seen that? Oh, yeah. A nice apple pie? Yeah. Really? I don't know, to be honest with you. Missing, oh, wow, this is, you're missing one right this here. This is looking sad. And brush some butter. That way it gets nice and golden crispy. Which one? Is this your sauce? Yeah. Banjo. She's getting yes. <laughs> you well, get to stir it. What's going on? We're not, we're not boiling pasta. It's All pretty right. good. She's fine. Look out. Oh. Okay. 425 for, I don't know. 10 minutes, probably, I guess. Just tell it's nice and golden brown. Yeah. Easy there, Don't right? Are you out of your mind? It's it's good. It's very, like, orange. Is it? Like, well, pow, orange. What I would have <laughs> Do one more time. Yeah. <laughs> get out of here. Get go, both go, dogs go, out go. of the kitchen. <laughs> Bam. Look at that turkey. Banjo's getting some nice Bob Evans going. Yeah, beat it. We didn't try on him. All right. Carving. Back carving time. It. Yep. Time to you wouldn't it. even know this sucker was living out in the backyard. No. Yeah. It looks nice. Just thinking of Pedro when I'm covering this. Yeah, I, we wanted it to be Pedro. <laughs> Millie beat us to it. Dang I was pissed. Us. We were all looking forward to the Pedro. Told everybody artist. Pedro's gone. They're like, oh, you have it in for Thanksgiving? I'm like, nope. We wish. <laughs> Didn't happen. So there's a, there's the, there's the quarter. One quarter. The last time we had a turkey was uh, very tough. Flavor was mm, very flavorful. We, we went less injection. Didn't do a whole lot of seasoning. But this guy's fried. The other one was smoked it wasn't really smoked it was, just, it was more just uh Grilled. dried out yeah <laughs> i'm hungry yeah me too we've been cooking since for about four hours of just straight cooking and the juices juice coming out the juices so and, and, and the key is the rest right that's kind of yeah. you're thinking Let it rest there's there's tony that, oh, that yeah that's, that's tony he's sitting in there that'd be the injection that'd be a good piece right there yeah you know full flavor so there's your half. Wow! Whoop, 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 whoop. There's your half your breast. Yeah. Wow! Sneaking pieces. Oh man. Oh. Oh man. Wow. Mm-hmm. Pour it all on. Give her a pour. She's she's ready. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. A little baptism there. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Let that soak for a second. Look, I got some nice packet gravy too. Just with meat. the bobs. With Bob, bobs and packet yeah. gravy. Can't beat that combo. Go, it's a goaded combo right there. All right, turkey has been carved. We've got four minutes left on the deer roast, and we're gonna get the full spread laid out and show you. Oh, hang on, dude! Oh, I almost forgot about the pot pie. You about to did push anyone, me over? Did anyone else remember? We Mike, checked well, it Mike's when been we checking inside. on it. Oh, oh, it looks it looks about almost there. I think you're about done. About there. Sure. All right, well, yeah. we'll still let you guys know when the spread's finished. Shit, doggy! Look at that spread. Looks good. Harvest. We killed a turkey, killed a deer, banjo, killed the duck. We killed some quail. And King's Hawaiian, you just can't beat it. And we got Bobby's over here. Look at all that. I mean, banjo's duck looks phenomenal. The pie looks great. The deer roast looks just amazing. And then we got the turkey. Favorite part of the dish. We gotta dice this little. Yeah, I'll start, let's start with banjo's little duckling here. You ever had a duck leg? Maybe I not. don't know if I have. I'll be honest. There it is. Take that like a little lollipop. Mm. What's your mouth got to say about that? A lot going on? Yeah, not sauce. Is it, is or, is it orangey? Very orangey. I love it. Citrusy? Mm-hmm. Mm. That, dude, like that looks trip. so good. That was really good. Is the fat, the fat pretty solid mm -hmm. on there? Leave it, leaving, it, leaving it plucked or mm -hmm. leaving all that fat on there? Oh, yeah. Looking mint. Say, la say less. Here we go. Mm. Dude, that sauce. Yeah, sauce kills it. Wow. Just very sweet sauce. Mm. I'm a fan of the sauce. You kill, yeah. you kill on the sauce. That, that makes sauce it. Sauce is good. I mean, look at that. that. You can't beat that. You cooked it pretty good. That's right about right. Yeah. Dude, the sauce. Mmm. For just kind of like halfway winging it. You get it? Winging it's, it's yeah. yeah. The orange. That is. Makes it great. So good. Yeah, that's, it's the sauce. Yeah. The sauce absolutely makes it. Mm-hmm. Mm. That orange is something. It's got you something. Can't beat a green it's got something going like on there. Tender. That's yeah. dang good. Dude, perfect doing the cook job. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I said that's that's, that's exactly what you want, what you want right that. there. Mm-hmm. Dude, that orange. I'm a, that yeah. is that is something. We never cooked up this way. No. We never. always do jerky. Jerky or something. Yeah. You know, bacon wrapped. Never like an orange sauce. An orange yeah. so it's like good. A delicacy. That that, 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 that is. You pay a lot of money somewhere. I don't know where you're getting it, but you're paying a lot of money. Well, duck, I'd say it's a ten out of ten. 
All right, we gotta go. So I'm gonna get. I feel like I feel like we need a plate here. Plate it up. Yeah, we gotta plate it up. I'm gonna go for some roast though. Tender deer roast. How long? How that long was, did that actually take? That was 45 by itself okay. with the seasonings, and then 15. We threw the potatoes and carrots and mushrooms in there, and then we gave it 15 more. Okay. So about an hour total. About an, about an hour. And it's pretty sticky. After a little deer, courtesy of Jake's 6'5 shooting abilities. Mm. Oh my gosh. Is it tender? Dude. Wow. Wow. Just straight up pot roast. Mmm. You're going to like that. Mmm. Yeah. Wow. Extremely tender. You clear a whole Sunday pot roast. Dude. That. <laughs> that is. There's something there's something going on with that. Mm, that meat is fire. Meat's very good. You don't be able to tell that's deer. No, there's no way. There's no there's I mean, luckily there's a dough, which is always a plus. Yeah. You ain't gotta deal with the the tangy wangy. That is so good. I'm gonna give that a ten out of ten too. I mean we we're on a roll here. We just we're gonna keep going. The light meat here. We got some dark meat. Wow. Super tender. Alright, I'm gonna go no no gravy, no additive. Just straight up. Mm. Oh, a lot better than the last one. Yeah. I can tell you that much. I think frying the turkey is the deal. You can get gravy. a little gravy on it. Yeah. Ooh. There it is. Still dark meat guy. Light meat's good. I sneeze a little bit. Mm. That gravy on there. Think about that. Delicious. Oh, there about. it is. That's what you want turkey like. Full, full blown. It's almost like going to the, the caveman. The state fair. State fair's got some good turkey legs. I'd be impressed mm. this one's better, but. Probably pretty good. Pretty stinking good. That turkey's up. I mean, I don't think you would know that that's not like a yeah. water ball you buy at the store. We got turkey. We've done this, but two or two other times at least, and it's like well, it's not bad, but it's. I think the brine helped. The brine. That's the first time we brined it. That Ooh. might we might be improving our skills here. What do you think about that? Uh -huh. A little mm. turkey action. Pretty tender. It's not bad. Yeah, you wouldn't be able for to one that. that's been running around like a little yeah, they've been raptor. Around yeah. This whole place. That's pretty dang good. We should go get the rest of them. Yeah, I was going to say, we got, I think, three left now. Mm -hmm. We had four. Well, thanks to Millie and Lucy. But well, um, the thing is, maybe Pedro wouldn't have tasted as good. Maybe mm -hmm. it's, a, it's kind of a blessing in disguise, because that dude is super, super good. Right. Oh, there it is. That That's going to get you excited. Your deer, that, that deer's got something something going on there. The fact that that got done in that tender in an hour, that Instapot, hey, they don't they don't sponsor the channel they should, but that thing will change your life if you, if you chef it up. i take that 10 out of 10. You want to see what's going to change your life? You got Sammy going? In the juice. Oh, really? The Hawaiian roll. Mm. That's change, up there. That'll that's up there, life. yeah. That'll yeah. change your life. Bob Evans, Hawaiian rolls, and the full spread. I'd take that. That roast. I'd take that over turkey. That, that roast is so day. good. That's the best thing. I'm a, I'm a big I've fan. Had. Now, the question is, does a quail pot pie have anything to say? Oh, yeah. Oh, Whoa, baby. Oh, baby. Look wow. That. Does that, that look good? good. You want to slice? Get you one, too. Yeah, go ahead and start start dishing it up. There it is. She's still nice and hot too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Good crust. Stayed together. Well. <sighs> it smells really good. Yeah, the crust is really good. I'll have to ask Macy if that was homemade because it looks like it was. I think it was. Held held together great. Still hot. Mm -mm. That's hot. <laughs> That's need to chill for a minute. Well, I got a little bit. Mm. Well, that's. That's the deal there. It's just, it's lava hot, like magma It's 425 hot. still. <laughs> yeah, at least. Mmm. That's good, though. That's good. I'd say for how yeah. simple that recipe was. The texture's good. It's not like a lot of pot pies are too watery, like there's yeah. too much gravy. Yeah. This is like I was going to say, it's, it's thick. That crust is probably the best part, though. Yeah, the buttery, flaky crust. Yeah. I showed these guys that video. I've seen like, oh, it. I've seen it. A buttery, flaky crust. You've you seen it. You've been there. Mmm. Dude, this is just everything. Is spot on. Like, I ain't got nothing that's like, oh, we could have done this a little bit different, a little no. bit better. I feel like we executed to perfection. Mm. <laughs> that's so you, hot, right? you good? Uh -uh. Dude, that's still so hot. That's incredible. Well, last but not least, you know the, the, main, the main good. attraction. <laughs> the, main, the main attraction here. We got Big Daddy Bob's. Yep. In a little packet of brown gravy mix. And I, I've got high expectations here. Oh, yeah. Per usual. 10 out of 10. Yep. I mean, we hit, I think we hit everything. There's yeah. nothing, there's nothing there. Oh, and then this is, this is also crucial. See, I'm more of a, 
that type deal. Or you break it in half and make a sandwich. Oh, yeah. That's always good. Leftovers mm. the next day. Mm. Turkey sandwich. Well, we're going to sit down. We don't have any chairs out here, but we'll figure out how we sit down and enjoy our meal. We harvested a turkey, harvested a deer, harvested a duck, and harvested quail for the ultimate wild game Thanksgiving feast. I want to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. You uh, enjoy with your family. Go do some Black Friday shopping. Got tons of great sales over at DucksWaterfowl.com. And every $5 you spend, we'll get you an entry to win my custom-wrapped Can-Am Outlander ATV. Link down in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace. Oh, yeah. We're good. And then, like, if I talk like that, does that huh? look good? Huh? I can't hear you. Oh. Yeah, you're good. I'm good? Rolling. Huh? You're rolling? <laughs> oh. All right, you ready? Fire right in the hole! I hit it. Oh, it went through the target. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, folks.